Hello to everyone, and today we have a quick and small review, a durability review of Air Max Tevis shoes. Why Air Max Tevis? Yeah, these shoes are very, very popular. So I thought it would be nice to show you the review of these shoes and actually show you what the usability and durability of the shoes is. So uh, one thing is to understand about these shoes. They look nice. They look good, they look cool, but they are not as comfortable to use as they look. If you compare them to many, many running shoes that are made by Adidas or Asics, these shoes are not as comfortable. Even as for Nike, they, they are not as comfortable as some of their shoes. Uh, the sole is quite reliable, as you may see here. It doesn't get broken very quickly, but uh, frankly speaking, the mileage of these shoes is not high. And only in one summer, they got completely trashed. You may see it in here. They are not a very sturdy shoes, not reliable shoes. So uh, one thing to consider about them, the Air Max series, especially about the Tevas, they get dirty quite easily. So this mesh in here, while the air gets through it, it gets stuck in it and all the dust, it looks dirty. So when you buy them and if they are white, they will become gray and, and in darker shades of white in a very, very quick period of time. So they get dirty. Uh, the sole is easy to, to clean, but the mesh is not. And you, you need to wash it if you want to clean it. The mesh itself is not durable at all. I've had a lot of shoes back in the day, but this is one of the lowest durable mesh I've seen. And it breaks quite easily. I used them for maybe like two months and I already had these problems on them. I can still use them, yeah, but you see they will not last. They will not last for a very long time. They are already basically almost broken. And one of the things, they are not as comfortable as a regular running shoes. I use them just because I like the look. This Air Max thing you have in here looks nice, but besides the looks of this thing, I don't see any more advantages, you know, I don't feel the softness or stuff like that. If it was like a regular plain sole, not like this, would be the same thing. Regarding the usability, I don't feel it. I don't feel that it's there. I've had many, many shoes with different soles and uh, that were much softer than this Air Max shoes. So more like a brand, more like a uh, thing to sell, marketing, I think, but... Uh, not a feature that I would buy them for, for sure. Uh, one more thing that got broken, you may see in here. So your shoes break, there is this plastic inside, and now that it's torn, it will damage your feet. So not a very nice thing as well. And by the way, this all of this happens only in one summer. I used them for one summer, like three to four months and all of this happened. Uh, I walk quite a long distances every day, around like eight kilometers every day, but still uh, you may see the review of hikes shoes I've had on this channel and I used them for three years and they look, even now they look better than these ones I trashed in three months. So that's the durability, what you get when you buy Air Max shoes, which look amazingly nice. I like the look of them, I enjoy it but the durability is one of the lowest I've seen in the sneakers in general. And since we are doing this review, as a comparison, I'll show you one of the shoes I own as well, which is the New Balance shoe Speed Ride. The New Balance shoe, you can see the M490CA3, that's the model name. And this shoe's mileage is about four times higher than the Air Max shoes. So I used them for a very long period of time, for for three summers, I think. I used them for three summers and uh, the mileage is extremely high. The sole is much thinner than it used to be, but still they hold together and I can still use them. They have mesh as well. The mesh is all over the shoe. Of course, the mesh will break, but the mileage is so much higher and the integrity is still not compromised. You can use them even now. However, I feel that the sole is much thinner, I think the sole will break, but they are still intact, they are still fine, the durability is not compromised, still good. And uh, one of the things, these New Balance shoes were like two times cheaper, 
I bought them for I think like $35. It was a sale maybe because of that. But I bought them for $35. And I bought the Air Maxes for uh, for about $70. But New Balance shoes, the cheapest one the New Balance have, I think. They're still fine. They still work fine. So that's a small comparison of durability and how it should be and how it should be not. This, the shoes should not last for two months and then get broken. It's not cool. In case of these, the durability is a bit higher than average, I think. They hold pretty well, especially for this price range. Hold amazing and I can still use them. I can still use the Air Maxes as well, but I think this one will be broken very quickly and will go down. So that was it guys, a quick durability review of a couple of shoes I owned. Stay in touch.